Hey, little kitty, what do you want for your birthday? Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to fulfill that wish as we aren't sure about the existence of such mystical creatures. Why? Let me share that with you all by answering a unison question. Are unicorns real? Zoom in! When we think of unicorns, our imaginations often conjure up magical and enchanting images of majestic horse-like creatures surrounded by a charming aura with long flowing mane and tail that shimmer with a rainbow of colors. Their hooves are delicate and elegant and they move with a regal air. One of the most iconic features of a unicorn is its spiral horn that protrudes from its forehead. The horn is often depicted as pure white or iridescent and it has the power to heal, purify and protect. But the mystical question is, how did these myths and legends about unicorns originate in the first place? Well, to know the answer, let's travel back to the 4th century BCE to meet a wise Greek physician named Theseus. One day, when he was exploring the ancient Indian subcontinent, he stumbled upon fascinating tales told by the local about single-horned white donkeys that were as large as horses. Fascinated by them, Theseus decided to write this in his book, Indica, which played a role in shaping early perceptions surrounding such beings. However, according to many historians, his writings were based on the enchanting stories he heard from the local people and he never personally witnessed real unicorns. Instead, the creatures that Theseus describes is believed to be a fantastical interpretation of the Indian rhinoceros. In the past, rhinoceros horns were superstitiously believed to have medicinal benefits and were occasionally fashioned into drinking containers with different bands of color. This could have led to misunderstandings. However, Theseus was not the only one to make such errors. Yes, in the 13th century, the Italian explorer Marco Polo, while traveling through the islands of Sumatra in Indonesia, encountered a creature that he initially believed to be a unicorn. He later described this experience in his book, The Travels of Marco Polo, where he stated that the unicorn he encountered did not match the typical majestic image. According to him, this creature was unattractive in appearance and had a preference for dwelling in dirt and mud. Over time, numerous unicorn stories emerged from different parts of the world often with varying descriptions. However, none of these stories have provided substantial evidence to support the existence of unicorns. So today, many experts believe that these sightings may have been influenced by real animals such as rhinoceroses, Arabian onyx and narwhals. Not only that, but in recent times, a discovery in the scientific community revealed an Italian deer with a unique trait, a single horn on its forehead. This unique characteristic is believed to be the result of a rare genetic mutation. It makes us think, maybe creatures kind of like unicorns could be out there. Just not exactly the way we usually imagine them. It's trivia time! Did you know that various seals depicting side profile of what appears to be a horse with a single horn have been discovered in South Asian archaeological sites? 
yes, these unicorn seals date back to the Indus Valley Civilization in South Asia. Around 3300 BC to 1300 BC. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Sara Kulkarni. Hope you had fun today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <laughs> Never mind.